got it in gear. It didn't take long. No, it usually doesn't with guys like Terry Battle in the backfield. It doesn't take him long to get to the goal line. And there you saw Barry, what we talked about earlier. He's got a great nose for the goal line. It's his 60th touchdown of the year. He's to try the point. High snap. They got it down nicely. It's up and good. And with 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter, the Sun Devils have gotten themselves on the board first. We'll take another look at this this touchdown run. Watch the right side of the Arizona State line seal it off, and then Jeff Hall, 44, lead block on the corner, and nobody really even gets a hand on Terry Battle. Another look at it, 44, right there with the block, and that's what really sprung it. After that, as Bruce Snyder said, this guy just knows how to find the end zone. Of course, I guess that would be easy enough. It's that big painted thing at the end of the field. Isn't it? In the fourth quarter, Michigan State 29 and Penn State 29. He's about 16 times this year. Having a great year scoring. Uh, now, now, see, I, if I didn't know his name, I'd say his name was Polk. You know, he just looks like a Polk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he? Terry Battles, number number eight in the NCAA in scoring, and that didn't hurt right there. Number three in the conference. Corey Dillon of Washington having a great year scoring. This kick taken by Dennis Northcutt at the eight-yard line. Gets the 15, gets the 20. At the 25 to the 30-yard line where he stopped. And incidentally, we do have a report that Keith Smith suffered a shin injury of some sort on that last series, and he's hurting a little bit, but it looks as though he is going to come out and play. Batten had been loosening up. And Smith will come out and play. It had to be on that last hit, I would think. He doesn't appear to be running with any kind of a limp or anything, but uh, Andre Aldridge, ever on the spot, saw that uh, he did get himself nicked up. There was some question as to whether or not he was going to come back. So the Cats start at the 31-yard line. Pretty good field position for them. Fairly 7 to nothing. Give it to Taylor on first down. Taylor's got a gap. And he gets to the 40-yard line again. A 9 on first down. Marcus Sauer makes the stop. Marcus's brother, incidentally, had a huge game today for Southern California in that game against UCLA. We'll jump off the track. 7 to nothing. End of the first quarter. You, you, and you have the right to play sports until the cows come home. You have the right to assemble. You have the right to be equipped. You have the right to free speech. But anything you say can be held against you. That's life. Liberty. And the pursuit of the goal. But you don't have the right to remain thirsty. Not when there's Gatorade. Because every athlete has the right to be quenched. These are your rights. Now get out there and exercise them. Life is a sport. Drink it up. Hi, I'm Adam Oates of the Boston Bruins. This is Scott and this is Ricky. Passing is the essence of team hockey. In the sweet pass, start the puck at the heel of your blade, and with a short stick move, let it roll off the blade. And be sure to fall through toward your target. Use the flip pass when there's a defender between you and a teammate. Keep the puck at the heel of your blade and flip it over your opponent's stick. Remember, have fun, practice hard. We start the second quarter. Barry Tompkins, Danny White, and Andre Aldridge. Seven to nothing. Arizona State leads Arizona in a well-played football game. I want to remind you today's academic All-American profile brought to you by GTE. Chuck Cecil of the University of Arizona played here in 85, 86, 87. A three-time academic All-American. And fans of this game, of course, will remember the 1986 game. Jeff Van Raphorst looking to wrap it up for Arizona State. But no, Cecil intercepts and goes 100-plus yards. 8.56 remaining in the fourth quarter. It extended a 21-10 lead for Arizona to an insurmountable 28-10 lead. And Zona won it 34-17. Chuck Cecil had a pretty nice career in the NFL, too. Yes, he did. One of the, one of the great hitters ever to play in the NFL. So the Wildcats begin the second quarter at the 40-yard line with a second and one. And Taylor gets the first down to about the 43. Gary Taylor, of course, had a twin brother, Kerry, who played here until last year. Take a look at the offense in this game, and you can see very lopsided in favor of Arizona State. Just 17 yards of offense so far for Arizona. Incidentally, uh, 
tell you a little bit more about the injury to Keith Smith. It is a contusion on the leg, on the shin. And apparently a pretty serious contusion, but they got it wrapped up. And he continues. Leon Callum, the freshman out of Pittsburgh, California, in the ballgame now at the running back spot. And this is Callum. Callum gets stopped as he got to the 44-yard line. Again, of a yard. Callum had 100 yards last week in Arizona's victory against UCLA. Great stop that time by Damian Richardson, the strong safety for Arizona State. Well, he came like a shot from about 10 yards deep in the defensive backfield. And had he not been there, that would have been a big play for Arizona. Ball just short of the 45-yard line. We'll call it second and eight. And Smith might be checking off here. Quick hitch this time, and he threw that ball hard. It's caught by Williams. Williams shakes a man, has a first down, flag is down. And it was a late flag on the opposite side of the field, back at the 40-yard line. And we had a little skirmish going on back here. It looked like Brent Bernstein he was Arizona State. And I think Frank Middleton of Arizona. And I, I think it's Middleton who's going to get flagged. Well, that, that, is a, that is what you call a stupid penalty. Well, Middleton is one of those talkers, and that's his reputation. And uh, every now and then you go over the Five edge. Ball, personal foul on the offense, 15-yard penalty. Replay second down. And that really hurt. Yeah, that, that's a 26-yard penalty because it takes a first and 10 away in, a, in an 11-, 12-yard Gain. Dick Tomey, uh, needless to say, is incensed. Well, he's not. He's the kind of a coach that prides himself greatly on discipline and, and the lack of penalties. That's something that's very uncharacteristic for a Dick Tomey team. Three wideouts in the ball game now. No tight ends. And here's the option with Taylor on the pitch. And that's not going to go anywhere. That's well defended that time. Bondurai, he was there. Bernstein was there. You can't defend that play much better than that. Playing the line of scrimmage once again. Arizona State defense uh, just stringing it out. This all fits into the, the way that they defense Keith Smith. Just moving, see him moving down the line of scrimmage, not into the backfield, and just keeping their lanes. It's interesting that we have not called the name Derek Rogers defensively yet in this ball game. I haven't noticed, and I don't know if you have, Danny, what exactly they're doing with Rodgers, but it's allowing another spree. Yeah, they've got, they've got three of their offensive guys assigned to Derek Rodgers. That's why. And they do a quick kick. It's blocked. <laughs> and it's picked up by the Sun Devils. Derek Rodgers. Hey, I called the name. Derek Rodgers takes it to the two-yard line. How do you like that? Kevin Schmitke was the guy who was going to punt it. Well, they forgot to block. I mean, you know, it's one thing to have a to have a quick kick call, but you got to block. You still got to block along the line of scrimmage. The Arizona State defense just penetrated the line of scrimmage, and there was no place for him to kick the ball. Kicks it right into the back of his own guy, Sean Swayda. They call him the Rock. Just stands straight up, and there's no place for him to kick the ball. And Rogers picked it up, and the Devils have it first down at the five-yard line. They give it to Battle, and Battle trips and falls as he crosses the five, gets to about the three. There's Derek Rogers, and he has been really anybody you talk to, including the coach of this football team, he has been the difference defensively. Now, Dick Tomey said exactly that yesterday, that he is the di difference for them. There, there are a couple of things you can do. You can roll away from him. You can double-team him with a back. You can put a tight end on him. You can trade a tight end. Give the battle again. Left side. Touchdown. And that's just well blocked and well run. Nobody touches it once again. Terry Battle is... Uh, 
making a claim for the leading scorer in the nation if he